Hi everybody and welcome to this new WebRemind tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Vagrant on your machine and if you don't know that Vagrant is an awesome tool which allows you to configure in a very quick way your development environment with whatever stack you need. The great thing about Vagrant is the fact that your development environment will be completely isolated from your machine and you won't need to mess up with your current configuration thanks to the fact that your machine will be provisioned on top of VirtualBox. Uh, not so clear, I think that it's better if we go deeper into the installation and set up of a simple Ubuntu box with uh, Yeoman software, which is a great workflow manager. And so. In order to start, you have to just click on download here on the website and download the version that suits your needs. And also, you will need Oracle VM VirtualBox. Once you have downloaded uh, all the required uh, dependencies, you should be able to open a console window. In this case, I'm using Sidewind and type Vagrant. And if everything went fine, you should see the list of available commands. Now, what we would like to do is to create a custom folder that I call uh, Vagrant Ubuntu. Let's see the internet. That. And then I'll add the folder that will contain a whole our vegan files and the machine as well. So now we just have to decide which environment we want to set up. And for, for our purpose, I picked up this one, Precise64 Yeoman, which contains Power 13.3, Clunt, Yo, uh, NVM with Node.js, Ruby, and a lot of other stuff. What we have to do now is just run this command, which is vagrant init rbao precise 64 yeoman on our environment. And then, oh, sorry, vagrant init. And then, what happened is that we have a vagrant file generated automatically from Vagrant. The main purpose of the Vagrant file is to describe the type of, the, of machine that we require for our project, how we want to configure and provision it, so what we need uh, to install on it and which kind of machine we need. Uh, let's have a look at the file. The I, Vagrant file. As you can see, this file is mostly commented out, and I leave to you to investigate better and put up the uh, available option. What I want to show you for this tutorial is just this option here, config VM box, which contains the name of the machine we we we're going to use. That's all you need to know, and what we have to do now, just run vagrant up and what will happen is that the machine will be loaded, uh, sorry, downloaded, and I'll see you when this download is going to finish because it might take a while and I don't want to bother you. <laughs> okay guys, the download is now completed and our machine has been successfully added to VirtualBox. What we have to do now is just run Vagrant SSH. And we are logged in. Our machine is up and running. We have our nice disposable uh, Ubuntu installation. Well, let's have a look at what's inside it. So, if we go to slash vagrant, which is a shared folder, I'll get, to the, I'll get that in a moment. But you can already notice that also in here I can see my vagrant file. As I mentioned before, this machine will already have Yeoman installed, so I can make the uh, Angular project. Angular project, Yo, Angular. For 
example. As you can see, the omen is up running and we can do whatever we want with that. Uh, that's it. Another thing I want to show you is now in Airplay I have created my folder, which is Angular project. But let's go back to the to the Windows machine. And what we can see here is that I can also see the Angular project folder that I've created inside my real machine. So let's create a text file in here. Text command and text. Nothing more. And then go back to the Ubuntu Linux machine, CD, Angular project. As you can see, I can put the files appears in that as well. This was just a quick introduction to the marvelous world of Vagrant. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can have a look at the documentation, which is available on the Vagrant website, vagranthub.com. That's pretty extensive, and you'll be able to see everything that you can do with this marvelous tool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you would like to know more about Vagrant and see some specific application of it, and, uh, machine configuration please let us know leave us a comment and or get in touch with me on the social network which is facebook.com slash agency and all the other ones you'll find in the description uh, also before we close this tutorial let's think about a project in which we have many developers that need to have the same environment uh, what you can do. As I showed you before, we have the background file, so what we have to do is just share the background file in a source control with all of them, they will grab it, and they will run background hub, and they will have the same environment in every machine. You won't have to, you will not have to worry about uh, stuff like this works in my environment, but for some weird reason it doesn't work in another one you'll be sure that every time something runs on an environment the configuration will be just the same and that's one of the reasons why Vagrant was born so I hope you'll enjoy that and I'll see you next time